media, taming technology. Logic 8 has several new contextual menus that were not part of 7. And also, most visibly, are these button menus that are on the top of every session. I'm sure you've clicked on a few of these, and they're pretty useful. And in this session, we're going to learn how to customize and make our own. We do that by simply holding down the control key to reveal this menu. So just visually, let's look at the control key. Now let's go back, click hold while click while holding control, and let's go to customize toolbar. And up comes this menu here. Now I can drag buttons off of the menu bar. I can rearrange these spaces. I can rearrange other buttons. I can also take the entire default set and drag it into place. And then I can customize the default set. So experiment a little and then get your buttons to where you are happy with them and click done. Now I have new menu buttons. It's important to note that this button here hides and shows those tool buttons. Now on any audio track, control click and you'll get another contextual menu. This is a mixer, but right now let's select configure track header. This is fairly self-explanatory in here. Anything that I check on will be revealed in the track list. And to be quite honest with you, a lot of these buttons are not that useful. Track freeze and track protect, these are buttons that um, are very specialized and they really don't need to be on on an everyday basis. For track naming, it's important to just play around with a session and Watch the naming schemes as you click these buttons on and off. And many professional users have different setups for their laptop sessions and different setups for their tower as well. Obedia, technology.